Hello everyone, it is 12.39 a.m. on this very early morning, November 3rd, 2016, and history is about to be made. The Chicago Cubs are one out away from breaking their 108 year drought of a World Series championship and hopefully killing that curse of the Billy Goat. For the record, I am a Red Sox fan and I've been a neutral observer in this year's World Series. While part of me wants to see the Cubs win, I could not root against Terry Francona. And the Cubs have John Lester, who was one of my favorite players when he was on the Red Sox, so... I've basically been watching the games with enjoyment, and this game has been a treat to all baseball fans. And now, it looks like the Chicago Cubs are about to make history. making this interesting. I should say that throughout this entire game, both quote-unquote curses have been arm-wrestling each other for dear life. And while it looks like the uh, curse of Rocky Calavito is about to prevail, the curse of the Billy Goat is still doing whatever it can to not die. <laughs> this was in the 8th inning. It tied the game. difficult to do on cutters away for Davis, so I'm sure Basio said, listen, listen, come on, don't pay attention to the guy first, attack this hitter, and when you get with two strikes, maybe then you can kill him with a curveball. Rajay Davis, can tie it with a home run. Geyer will take second. If he wishes, Cubs are giving it to him. Ball one. Down to second is Geyer to take that force out away. Just maybe the curse of the Billy Goat is not going to die just yet. Here's Terry Francona. And that's going to be it for Carl Edward Jr. We've got the first two, a walk and now an RBI single. And we're going to have a pitching change. And with Michael Martinez, the scheduled hitter, the switch hitter. Nobody on the bench for Terry Francona here in the 10th inning. This is a one-run game. Edwards is out. Cue the dramatic music. And Mike Montgomery is coming in. Okay, we're back from commercial break. 
Cubs made a pitching change and they're one out away from erasing their 108 year World Series championship drought. Will they accomplish it or will the Indians work some magic? Indians have the tying run on first. Like I've said before, this, both quote unquote curses have been arm wrestling each other for dear life. Let's see if it continues. Holy fucking shit. It has happened. Hell has frozen over. John Lester, John Lackey, David Ross, Theo Epstein have won championships with both the Red Sox and Cubs. But only Theo Epstein has broken both curses. Sorry, Cleveland. This is probably karma for uh, what the Cavaliers did, but your, your city's sports curse is broken. So two curses have been broken in 2016. The Cleveland sports curse and the curse of the Billy Goat. But the Cleveland Indians curse of Rocky Colavillo is still alive and well. And it is 12.48. I will be signing off since I have work in the morning. Thank you for watching. And we all witnessed history just now.